All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. My buddy Juan here, one of the viewers, uh, he stopped by. Uh, he's actually one of the Patreon guys, so I really appreciate your support, man. And he's the one that hit the start button on this video. So anyway, out here doing a little bit more training for our three-gun event for the Multi-Gun Nationals down in Florida. And I know I've done this before, and you've probably seen a couple other guys do it, like X-Ring, talking about their rig. Well, I wanted to talk to you about my rig uh, in three-gun. Because one of the things that I've added to it is another setup from Invictus on uh, holding these guys right here. But the shell caddies, these are uh, 12 shell holders. They hold 12. That's why they call them 12. And all together, we got 24 on here. Now, the funny thing is, is I'm going to be training here in a little bit. And all I want to do today is I'm practicing my draw stroke and popping off the first round. And the reason all this stuff is on here is because I need to be able to manipulate and come down through here. So what I wanted to do real quick was just talk to you about the, the rig, what it's set up in. So first of all, what we have is you have an inner belt. And that is this guy right here. This is a Velcro belt. This is the loop section of the Velcro. Then the hook is on the inside of your belt here. So when you put this thing on, it will secure all the way around. Now, I run mine a little bit different. I use the Safari Land uh, belt. A lot of guys go with the ELS or ALS system uh, where they can take stuff on and off. Now, uh, one of the things I did was I went with the Blade Tech on a couple things. We'll get to that here in a minute. I'm jumping around, but let's go ahead and start off uh, with the holster. Now, on the holster, I am using, and this is the G code. Okay, so in competition, not like USPSA where you're using pistol only, I want something that's going to hold my pistol in. I might be running around. Can't tell you how many times I've seen actual guys get uh, DQ'd because they were running. Uh, they had nothing to actually keep the pistol in there and it just came out of the holster. And once this thing hits the ground, your day's done. At an event where you're paying $300, $400, you've got you know, another couple hundred dollars tied up in hotels and you got gas and everything else, having this guy fall out of your holster will ruin a lot more than just your day. So what I decided to do, I went with the G-Code and this has the bell hoop on top of it with the release button right here. So e one of the things that I will be practicing and I've been practicing a lot is just drawing from it, pushing down on top of this thing so that I don't come up. And a lot of times what will happen, you reach down and grab a hold of it and you're trying to pull and press this at the same time and it doesn't work. So anyway, what I'm trying to do is I am trying to keep that pistol in that holster till I say it's time to come out. Now, uh, shell caddy holders. Now what I did on this one is I set it up with the blade tech. Now I'm gonna show you something here. There's, I've also got Velcro in the back right here because I want this to be stuck to my body as well on the inner belt. Now, a lot of guys will use the ELS stuff, and what that means is they can slide it on and off. I know I'm, I, I like that system, but because I am, I've got this thing with a standoff right here. I'm hoping you can see that. Uh, what I did was it's mounted low so that the actual belt and the carrier is mounted high. So when it is on my body, that carry this thing is actually up high like this not down low i don't want it down low because what i want to be able to do is bend over like this matter of fact that thing might just stay on my belt <laughs> like that so and to get this thing on and off all i do is i squeeze that part and i slide it on clamp these in there and i'm good to go same thing with this guy uh but you can see with the offset how much higher the center of balance is on these things, which means also because I load strong hand, I don't have as far, I'm not reaching down here, I'm reaching here, pulling up, and I mean, actually, on the top rack, I'm all the way up here. Just a little things that I thought about that could help me down the road. All right, so, uh, not that you really need a whole lot of uh, pistol mags, uh, but it, it is a good idea, and I can't even remember if these are double alphas or or who makes these. Um, but in any case, running four magazines, and what I did was I have installed Velcro on the back side of these also, so everything's attaching to that inner belt. 
And I learned my lesson a long time ago, never to run a stage where there's an AR involved and not have a spare mag. I swore up and down I could hit those Sammies at 50 yards and I ran out of ammo. Breathing hard is the problem, <laughs> but uh, that's it. So when this thing is on, uh, it, it is tight. Let me go ahead and stick it on for you real quickly. Now I'm doing this video unedited from my phone because I'm not going back to my office. But usually I will have not all this stuff on. It's a lot easier to put on without all the added weight. And it fits on just like this. It has these two prongs back here. And what I do is I made it up right there to where it's on my hip. I run this back section across here. Now there's some ratcheting systems that these guys have that are really, really cool. And I just, uh, I'm out of money when it comes to this three gun stuff. It's not a cheap sport to be involved in. And what you gotta do is you just gotta locate those holes back there. On occasion, you can get lucky. And then on other times, what I do is I'll uh, get Rick uh, is your six covered to go ahead and well, he'll help me hook it up. Hold on one second. I got it. No, <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, we got this thing on here. There's a little belt loop and it makes sure that it goes on. But that's it. That's how this thing fits. And it's tight all the way around. I am practicing with the shotgun shells on here because when the bell goes off, I need to make sure that I can draw the way I need to draw. My mags are situated at an angle like this because what's going to happen, I will make ready and load with this mag all the way back here, but I'll be drawing from these. So when I go for a mag change, I'll be coming just like this. So y'all can see that. Anyway, just a short little video showing you guys how my chest or my belt rig looks up. And if we got a big one with the shotgun, I can go all the way across here. Now it's about 80 degrees out here, but it's about 90% humidity. A lot of fun. I'm getting ready to go for a run as soon as we get done. We're gonna go back here, do some shooting with some pistols and uh, put some timers on. So anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, always in it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. It's hard to say that these days when you got a bad examples like you do up there in Minnesota. And I hate that that happened. I truly do. But there's some good guys out there to protect us 24-7, and we shouldn't forget about those guys. Uh, so with, with a heavy heart, uh, that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. I already said that. Take care of you guys. I'm out of here. Hey, Juan, hit the button. <laughs>